So in this video, I'm going to show you a little tip on how to use your Drewtronics wireless probe, how to measure bore, or you could use it to measure a square or whatever it is if you want to verify some measurement in process that you're while you're making a part. So let's say you may, you know you bore a hole and you want to verify that the the hole is a certain diameter before you move on to your next operation. What you can do is you can come back in with the probe and probe the bore and it'll tell you you can set up your page here to show you the bore size and you can put up an put an optional stop in your program and say okay measure the bore and stop the operator can you know decide if he wants to continue on with that bore size if he looks here on the screen and it's within tolerance if it's not if he needs to make a modification you can rerun a uh, you know a contour or a boring program or whatever it is so basically what you want to do is you want to rerun your probing cycle but without command in it so that it doesn't reset your work coordinate system because originally we set up our part we probe the part and we set up our G54 with on whatever it is we're boring and when we reprobe it again to measure it we don't want to update these coordinates we want to just see the size of it so how do you do that so let's get our program up here and I have my program stored in my net share I have my mill connected to my uh, computer via an Ethernet cable and it's a NetShare folder so I just store the the program on my computer come back over here it's already there so I'm gonna actually go to this program this is the one we're using right now and I'm gonna put it into memory and right now this program will actually reset every time it probes this board there's a ring in this machine right now and every time it probes this if it uses that program right now it will reset G54 on the part. And we don't want to do that. We've already set it. We've already gone in, probed it. You saw that in video number two. We've gone and probed this bore, found G54. That's where our origin's at. So now we just want to measure it. That's all we want to do. So we go back into our program here. This S1 right here in this line next to this uh, macro callout program, this S1 is what repopulates G54 every time it runs this probing cycle. Removing this S1 will not repopulate these numbers, but it will allow you to measure and it will show you the bore size or whatever it is you're measuring down here in your size. You can go to the Haas do-it-yourself website and they'll show you if you just Google Haas do-it-yourself show measurement on page or something like that. It'll show you how to set up your page to show these, these sizes in an angle. You can probe an angle. And, you know, it can show a you know, misalignment and a part on a vice or something like that. So I won't get into that. That's easily found. So just go to the Haas website to figure out how to set this up. But I will show you over here how to modify the probing program to just measure and not change these numbers. So if we go into edit here, this is pretty simple. And we're just going to delete this S1 code here. And then we're going to press send to save, and then menu, and then memory, and we're going to go back in, so now it's gone, and we're going to run this probing cycle, and it'll measure this, it'll show you here the size of it, but without changing these numbers here. So we're going to make sure our probe is on, just give it a little bump, turn it on, hit cycle start. So it's just measured that, and we're going to come back up to our page here. We haven't changed any of these numbers. Our work coordinates are still the same in G54. It's re-measured this bore, and now the bore shows 0.7495, and the last previous one was 0.7494. So it's it's a tenth variance, so it's off, you know, temperature or whatever. Since the last, you know, 30 minutes ago when I measured it, it's a tenth different. But that's how to do that without changing your work coordinates because I've run programs cutting stuff you know said oh you know what I want to go in I'm, I just did a bore I want to go in and measure the bore and then I ran it silly enough I measured it saw my measurement said okay the measurement's great but it moved just a slight bit because it reset it unknowingly to me I didn't realize that it reset these numbers and it reset it and then it finished the rest of the part and everything was off just a little bit didn't understand at the moment because I was new to probing 
and I didn't understand what was happening. It was that S number. So S1 and this line, whenever it does this macro call out for probing and it calls S1, S1 repopulates G54. And if that was an S2, it would repopulate G55, going up to G58. And, you know, then there's other ones that can get into your extended work offsets, and that's a whole other topic that you can get into on, you know, you can Google that. That's, that. For this video, we'll just keep it simple and keep it to that. But just keep that in mind. Whenever you see those little S numbers behind that, that's what it's doing. It's measuring that bore, and then it's storing into S1 that change, and then it's changing those values for you. Take out that S number, and it won't change these values. It keeps your original origin. Everything will stay the same. You can carry on moving on with your part, cut everything else. Everything will be great. And you can verify within programs. You know, you can say, okay, I'm going to stop at whatever and check this bore or check this dimension and look at it on screen here and say, okay, it's within however many thousandths of an inch you need to be. And you can put in optional stops and carry on with them or not. Actually pretty handy for me um, feature, whereas... You know, you don't have to stop and get a bore gauge, an actual bore gauge micrometer out and, you know, measure the part in the machine. You know, it's just real simple and easy to do. You know, for the tolerances that I work in, it's great. You know, for a couple thousandths of an inch or, a, you know, even a thou or a half a thou, it's pretty accurate. If you can get within a half a thou some certain things in the machine without pulling the part out and putting it back in and have to recenter everything, it's actually a really handy feature. So I, that's about it for that little tip. and. Moving on to the next videos, again, we'll post more stuff on how to do other things. I'm still new to the probing. I'm still learning as I go. There's a, not a whole lot of information out there on it, and I'm trying to accumulate as much as I can to relate to other people using the Haas machines. I, I couldn't tell you on other machines. I'm not experienced with other brands of machinery. The Haas one I can work through, and can, if you have email me any questions, I can try and help you with as much as I can. I'm far from an expert fairly new to everything here that we're doing maybe there's something you know that I don't you can help me with and something you can point out and say that I'm doing wrong I'd love to hear so thanks for watching